What's the difference between the Chevy Z71 package and the Ford FX4 package? I went to the auto show to find out. The results may be shocking. So let's take a look first at the Chevrolet Z71 package and see what they say on their website and what we see at the show. You get fancy wheels, uh, fancy headlight grills, grill surround, chrome bumper appearance, black recovery hooks, LED fog lamps, the Z71 appearance package that includes the fancy sticker, automatic locking rear diff, hill descent control, descent, trailering package, underbody, transfer case shield, and the Z71 off-road suspension with Rancho Monotube shocks. So let's take a look underneath. There's a Z71 fancy sticker. There's the chrome tow hook. And just for curiosity, I'm going to bring a measuring tape here. And we find that we have 11 inches of ground clearance, which means you can take it off some sweet jumps off road. And if we want to crawl underneath in the back, there's your locking differential. And of course, your Rancho shocks painted white, to be obvious. Rancho is the Spanish word for ranch. And those are premium off road shock absorbers. And here's a close-up look at the skid plates underneath the truck, which are very skiddy and very platey. And in this corner, the Ford FX4. Let's see what you get in an FX4 package other than this beautiful sticker. The FX4 off-road package includes electronic locking rear differential, hill descent control, descent, off-road tune shock absorber, skid plates, and FX4 off-road decal. The decal adds 50 horsepower, plus the available 360-degree camera with split view display is helpful when you're maneuvering in tight spaces on and off-road trails. Anybody want to play Where's Emo Waldo? No, this is a truck video, not a Waldo video. Get out of there, Waldo. Uh, this is the FX4 F-150. Let's take a look at some of the features. So on the front end, you got hooks. They're not chrome like the Chevys, but you can still do some good hooking with those hooks if you want to. About nine and a quarter to nine and a half inches of ground clearance there. So if you want to take that off any sweet jumps, you can. Uh, there is a good look at the skid plates, which are good for skidding across things. There are also plates. I suppose you could eat off them if you wanted to. There's the locking rear differential, and unlike the Chevy, there's no fancy Spanish words on the shock absorber. It's just a big black pipe, but supposedly it's inside what matters, and uh, it is a special type of shock absorber, an FX4 shock. So that's what you get in both packages, things to make them a little more off-road capable. Uh, overall, some good stuff, so it's not just a sticker, it's a little bit more than that. So which one should you buy, Ford versus Chevy? That debate will rage on for centuries.